Hey everybody, Constipated Burrito Cage back with the more Let's Play Zoids Battle Legends. Last time we beat, uh, all except we got up to the last mission on the Republican side, in which I'm doing the B mission. Uh, so let's check the map info for that. Mission 16B, Dragon with Electric Horns. A final battle, a la large mad... Mad Thunder is standing tall in front of us. The sword was taken away from the Republic. So, victory conditions, same as usual. Defeat conditions, same as usual. Um, frontal attacks are not safe. Attack it from behind. I'd just say that's pretty accurate. So, yeah, the Mad Thunder, then there's also a Lord Gale. Here to be a dick again. I'm not exactly sure how this episode's gonna play out because with me using this Gojulus Giga, how I have it set up, I'm going to win. Without much trouble. And so, with that, we'll cause a short episode. So, not exactly sure how this episode is going to play out as far as uh, time goes. So, it might just be, end up being like a short one, or I might do something else. Um, but, let's get up. I'm not... I'm pretty sure you have to kill the Lord Gale and win this fight. Okay, not... Kill that bitch. Really need a booster right now. That would come in very handy. Die. But yeah, with this cannon on... The, on the Gojo's Giga... You're gonna kill some stuff. Okay. And the rest of this battle is easy now that I have the, uh, the Lord Gale out of the way. So I can focus completely on Mad Thunder. God. God. Don't let it hit me with that. It's really the only thing that's hitting me is its missiles. It's being a stick. And... Yeah, we killed it. See if we can launch an EX attack out before it finishes. Yeah! EX! Whee! It looks cool. And I look like a badass in that shot. Total badass status right there. And I'm gonna let the miss the victory jingle play out the whole time. Just cause it's the last one of this mode at least. So yeah, that was the last mission. We win. Mad Thunder was engulfed in flames. This was also the end of the ZOS system. However, Rika, the Terrigi's commander in charge of Mad Thunder, has somehow vanished from the scene. It's done. Captain, what do you think happened to the Imperial Warriors? They must be alive. They are Road Tiger Warriors, after all. They will be alright, Shoma. Your rival is still alive, I'm sure. Rival? He's not my rival. You'll see him before too long. We seem to always end up meeting them. You're right. Then until next time. Blue Unicorn is returning home. Send a hover cargo, please. Roger. Over. In the Empire of Gyalos, the Neba's existence is still felt. Indeed, the feeling is quite strong, but can Zanibus rise again? Only time will tell. It is about to change its history. Wow. I'm pretty sure that that cutscene is longer if you do the A mission, because you have all like the stuff between like the blue unicorn and Roe Tiger, which I could always decide to show that. I don't really feel like it though. I'm lazy like that. Um, no need to watch credits. Uh, yeah. So that was the end of mission mode. And let's save. Game over. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. You are quite welcome for playing. You know, that's something that games don't do enough these days. And I'm like, thanks for playing. Um, well, since I don't really know what else to do and it's only been four minutes, that does not make a sufficient episode. And I'm not going to start the Zoid Battle thing until next time because that, then the title would be too long. I'd have to put Mission Mode Republic slash... All, all that stuff. So you know, I'm gonna do a Zoids. I'm gonna show some Zoids fist battles. 
I'm just gonna do a few random battles until I get to like maybe 10 minutes or something. Short episode, but so um, so its fist is all the stages are like rings. Um, let's just do a flat one. And uh, let's see, what do I want to be? Hmm. I'm not. I'm be Genosaur, cause Genosaur is cool like that. And give them, let's give them something challenging. And give them Liger Zero. And no, I don't want to be that stage. Let's do something a little bigger. Saucer. Saucer looks good. Um, so if you fall off the stage in this mode, then you die. So something to note. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. Dinosaur is a good Zoid. How about this? No. You don't hit me. I hit you. Ha ha. You got me. Let's get an X attack on it. Oh. Miss. Being a jerk. Oh crap. This honestly is not the best, uh. Being a jerk. And die already. This is not a good spot to be in with Genosaur. Oh, what? I died. That's bullshit. <laughs> Was an easy victory. Okay, you know what? I'm coming back with a vengeance. That guy is dead. Oh man, that's embarrassing. I lost to a CPU. Oh well, I'm I was I never do Zoid's fists. Oh, well, you know what? Rev Raptor. Ha ha! You're going to die now, bit. Enjoy that last life that you had. This was the last one you will ever have. For now, at least. This is getting exciting. Yeah, so this is just the extremely standard flat circular course. How about this? Oh, I didn't get hit. We're just gonna F this guy up. Die. Haha. Uh -huh. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, I could have just F myself up there. Let's jump off the edge. See, we died. We did it! But we still won. Because they died first. And... Yeah, that's pretty much that Zoid's Fists. And en enough of that. Now let's do something slightly more interesting. I'm going to go do just a straight up Zoid's Battle. Zoid's battle legends. A versus mode against the CPU. And I'm going to use Giant Zoid's. Something that you can only do within this mode. So, Giant Zoids are going to start down here at the bottom of the list. They have Choice of Terramander, Seismosaurus, Mad Thunder, Death Singer, Death Soar, Ultrasaurus, Bloody Death Soar, and the Megasaur. Megasaur is unlocked using cheats, which you just go into the conf config menu and you like enter certain voice things. I'm going to use Ultrasaurus because it's awesome. And to buy an Ultrasaurus, it would only be let's say 3 million 8,000 8, monies. That's not that bad. I could have bought one of those in some of my files. And let's see here, what opponent should I go against? Go against the Death Soar. Just straight Death Soar. And that costs the same amount of money. How much does the other stuff cost? How much does Megasaur cost? 5 million. Alright, is that 5? Yeah, 5 million. Blade Death Soar. 4. 4 million. But Ultrasaurus is an awesome one. Um, so when you get select large zoids, even if only one player is using them, you don't have access to all the fields because there's certain ones that just really aren't good to use the giant zoids in because you can't really move in them. So let's just do the standard wasteland. Let's go. Um, big zoids will typically have a lot of guns. Uh. Seismosaurus is, or the Ultrasaurus is like one of the only ones that doesn't have a charged particle gun type beam. 
Large Zoids will also have extremely giant radar scope, so you're gonna hit it already. And if you're using the Ultrasaurus, I say use this cannon because it's the best cannon. The 360 meter L cannon. Let's see here. Um. Yeah. <laughs> your radar is greater than your range. So let's kill it. Let's kill it. Something you don't want to do in a battle against another big Zoid is get in really close combat with it. Because then you'll just be like touching each other whole, the whole time, and that sounds really weird considering it's Zoids. But uh, when large Zoids touch each other, they like they sort of instant down each other, so you really can't move. And I actually got really lucky there because the charged particle beam. Uh, there's certain positions you can be in with it, where it, it will just like insta kill you pretty much. God, this thing needs to get off the hill. I want to use my X attack. Let's go. Mine is hitting first. Aha, uh -huh, mine hit first. This sucks. Die. I win. They can jump a little bit. They're like, whoosh. I wouldn't expect that an Ultrasaurus could really jump. An easy victory. But, uh... No, I want to sort of try and show that thing with the... Uh, with the charged particle gun really quick. One moment. I'm using Megasaur. Because it's mega! <coughs> it's mega powerful! Uh, the Megasaur also, if you just want to sp have something to spam and just easily kill everything. This is getting um, this one has two versions of the charged particle gun. It has the normal one and the charged particle cannon. Which it just charges up and you hold A and you can walk around and shoot it. So it's a lot more effective than the normal charged particle gun. And you can just walk around being all like Godzilla and stuff. Okay, let's see here. What other guns do I have? Hey, it's not cool. Got that gun. Got that gun. No, not the missiles. Okay, crap, crap. Face it, face it. Charge particle gun now. Oh, I didn't get it. Damn. If you're in like the right spot, then it'll just sort of... Like, you can kill it in one hit, literally. But I don't feel like this battle needs to go on. Really, so... I'm gonna end it there. I didn't lose, I gave up. There's a difference. And I'm going to end this episode off here. Um... Next time on Zoids Battle Legends... We go back to the tournament mode, and I do the... I start the Chaotic Century tournament. So, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my videos, it would be appreciated. Until next time, this has been Constabated Burrito Cage. Peace out, and have a great day. Goodbye, people.